over people at my school being racist and no one doing anything about it. Like, I go to school to work. I don't even talk to these people because I'm busy. I'm trying to go to Yale. I'm trying to go to Harvard. I don't have time for you. So, and this particular kid, I swear, all day long, he can, he's white and he just cannot stop saying the N-word. It's like his favorite thing to say. He just cannot, I don't even use it like, like that. Like, he just loves to use it and see how far he can push it and see how people he can offend. And all his friends don't care and, they're, and they all think they're woke, nice, good people, his friends. But they don't stop him. The only class I'm in that's not the dance placement, I want to take too many as you really stuff. We were putting a group together. Forced. He is a goof off. So I'm doing the work because I was like, I, just leave me alone. I'm going to do the work. You do your business. You, you use your phone. I'll finish, the, I'll finish the project. Leave me alone, right? I can't even work with this kid. So I'm doing that thing, you know, when you're like writing and thinking and you're writing and you're thinking, like you, you talk to yourself kind of like a, like, and we're, we're, like you just think you talk and you write do we do this yes you talk you write you talk you write you mumble to yourself while you're writing i guess he found that weird so he looks up from his phone mr do no work and he goes hey, are you on crack or something i was like what i was like what are you talking about like what leave me alone like, I'm not even talking to you. I don't get along so well. Because he, he could say, oh, we're in a friendly way. But we aren't friends. You don't like me. So if we don't get along, it's even worse. It's like, that's not that should not be your weapon of choice. And this kid is so stubborn. I've, like, given up trying to make him stop saying it, period. But I really will not be called that. Like, I've given up. You know, I can't just the fact that I did not even provoke you. Like, it's just ridiculous. Like, you can live your life, go to school, be doing the right thing, just, you know, being a normal kid, getting ready for college, and not provoke anybody, and still have this kind of thing happen to you. Same way you can live your life and just be black and not provoke anybody, and still have this happen to you. You can be gay and live your life and not provoke anybody, and still have stuff happen to you. Like, people cannot keep their hate to themselves. Like, they just can't. They just can't keep it inside. Like, oh my god, I'm a hateful human being. Let me just be quiet. They cannot help but be hateful, even if you do not speak to them. If you have acne problems, hyperpigmentation, and you want a fast and effective solution, go to Simply K Inc. She has an array of skincare products. And also, please go and support Black Currency. Unmask to get all of your melanated gear. For thicker edges and supple skin, please click down below at mytriplebutter.com to purchase Keisha Rose Skincare 3 in 1 Triple Butter. Please make sure you like comment subscribe and share and support the platform hey you guys somebody actually sent me a video from instagram where ayoki lee simmons who is the daughter of kimora lee simmons as well as russell simmons made a very passionate post on instagram where she was discussing the racism that she has been facing at her school from a white boy and i wanted to weigh in on this situation because i feel as though black people need to start moving accordingly so if you want to hear my commentary about this video please stay tuned you know as you're watching this video you are thinking about how you are going to be able to get to work tomorrow how are you going to make it for these next couple of months because you don't have a car this is where you need to go to carmarshall.com. You don't gotta get a new car, get a used one. They have over 100,000 in their selection to choose from and while you shop, they are going to negotiate for you. Go to carmarshall.com. You guys know how essential it is for skincare and Ash Kicken has you covered. So go to ashkicken.com. If you use Paris Milan at checkout, you will receive 15% off. Ashkicken.com, tell them Paris Milan sent you. Okay, so you saw Aoki's video and please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing her her name so she is 16 years of age and I already stated she is the daughter of Kamora Lee Simmons as well as Russell Simmons and she is trying to get into one of those Ivy League schools she has a YouTube page and on it she discusses where she really wants to get into Yale however she recently posted a video where she made it clear that she has been experiencing racial abuse at her school from a white boy where he's calling her racial slurs and he's making very racialized 
has derogatory comments towards her. This is something that should not shock her and by her response I think that she has been trying to ignore it for so long and she's completely fed up. See this is the problem I think that black people have. Some of us want to become successful only to be around in the circles of those of us that oppress us. What I mean is that we want to be able to get in the financial tax bracket to afford the things that our oppressor has in their possession off of our labor that we've done for so many years. As a result, we end up placing ourselves within circles of people that are further going to subjugate us and our children. You see situations like this happen where you're in the predominantly white area that you thought was going to be a symbol of you making it, yet your children still can't go to school and get a quality education without them being racially discriminated against. They can't go to the doctor without the doctor racially discriminating against them. They can't go to the bank without experiencing systemic racism. When you put yourself in positions where your children are not fully equipped to know how to maneuver through this system and you give them a false sense of them being different from those other type of blacks because you have a certain amount of money in your bank account, this is how situations like this occurs. Now here's the thing, the reason why this has been able to persist for so long is because of the slave-minded saboteur Negroes who are insisting upon trying to deflect and make the dire predicament that we are in as black people and focus on black on black crime. Now the reason why I brought this up because I saw this video that was very interesting with this black woman named Shekinah. Now Shekinah is a complete airhead goofball. I think she's entertaining with her Instagram lives but in terms of racism she has the mind of a slave minded mammy who seems like she hates the fact that she is black. So I want to show you guys a video of somebody trying to inform her and how she went on this complete white supremacist ideology tirade against black people. Okay tonight with black black and white? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um first of all you said it's all these black people killing each other um all this black on black crime. I want you to stop using that term because that's that's that term was created by the Europeans to to misappropriate what's going on. Mm -hmm. Crime happens in communities when people are near each other. Mm -hmm. If I'm a black person I likely live by black people. So if I commit a crime, I'm likely going to do it to the people. Same with white, same with Indian, same with Chinese. Right. Um, furthermore than that, to say black people is fucked up. They are. Come on now, why? They are. Why are black people are. fucked up? They is it oh, because of the psychological... Hold on. You got to white man. Is, is it the psychological warfare that has came against us for the last 400 years? Why do that ain't got nothing to do with, this shit? That ain't got nothing to do with it. Come on now, bro. You got 4,000 people, people on your live right now. You got 4,000 people on your live right now, and you got this miseducation going on, and it's really people that's believing the shit that you're talking. I ain't got nothing but mad respect from you, but you need to go read some books, baby girl. You need to go read some books. You need to go read the real letter. You ain't gonna be able to get all in. See, like, she did go left now. She went all the way left. I don't know. Okay, like I said again, I've never been in slavery. 
Okay, so since y'all feel like the lynch shit still going on, why the hell y'all still carrying on like that? What is it? The lynch? What is it called? Oh, like lynching? No, nigga. The what? What is the nigga name? Will Lynch. Lynch. If you feel like Will Lynch is still going on, why do y'all continue to still act the way y'all act? If it's still going on, and y'all, I mean, y'all feel like this, this was, this, this was, this was put here for us. Why haven't you all made a step to change? Y'all telling me about I'm not blind on shit. You motherfucking blind, and y'all keep using this weak ass excuse, and that shit ain't cool with me. I've never lived in slavery. I'm going to say it again. I never lived in slavery. But I have been to some of these countries and seen poverty. But I ain't lived in slavery. And I ain't lived in poverty either. See? So a lot of y'all folks out here in the United States of America, y'all don't get this shit for real. When you go to third world countries, oh, excuse me, you probably ain't never been there. Some of y'all ain't got your motherfucking passport. Hello. But like I said, <laughs> yeah. I got a passport, honey. And, I, and damn near everything I want in life. Okay? Like I said, how come when you go to... You can say whatever you want to say, baby. I'm going to keep my opinions on how I'm keep them. You keep yours the way you do. Okay? So when we go to third world countries, then you get to see how them people live. It'll make you come back to the United States and appreciate life. So, man. But y'all don't travel really too much out of the country to see what's going on. Because some people in the, in, the, in the world still living in slavery. Feel like... When you go over there, because they so much in poverty. Ain't nothing y'all can really tell me about this shit, man. I've been living in this shit, watching the world grow all my life. I've been watching people get hurt by their own kind all my life. I done watched it. I done watched our men, black men, beat our women down, treat them like shit, have babies by, lead the babies and them to the wolves. Tell me you can see in the video the black woman was trying to inform her and trying to help her to understand why her point of view is so toxic for black people and she couldn't handle her intellect and decided to hang up on her and then she went on this diatribe about black people in section 8 and we kill each other and all these things that deflect from white supremacy now the black woman was right in that we tend to commit crimes around people that we are by we are not overly committing any more crimes than any other race of people that live by one another but they like to take your eyes off of what they are doing to you as a people so that they can continue to slaughter you without them being held accountable for it i mean if you think about it when black people kill one another they are going to be held responsible in the event that they are found guilty but why is it that there is a higher chance when they kill us they're more likely to not be found guilty and you get these beanbag liner back built hood rats that excuse that behavior black people got businesses black people own houses black people did who cares? They're still being shot down in the street. And I also find it funny how she tried to use the welfare deflection when we all know whites are the biggest recipients of government assistance. And also when you look at the main patrons of her hair shop, cause she is a hairdresser. If I didn't mention already, she's the best friend of Tiny. She's really a nobody without Tiny. But the biggest consumers of her hair, lace front business, whatever the freak is black people. So if she feels this way, y'all really need to show her with y'all dollar how much you're gonna support her in her coonin ways. Look at Aoki. Her dad is a multi-millionaire. Her mother is a multi-millionaire. She has the world in her freaking hands. There's no school that's off limits for her. She could buy any car she wants, any house, any material possession is at her fingertips because of who her parents are. And in saying that, according to Hood Rat Kaina, if that is the case of black people having businesses and you weren't there for slavery, why is it that she's still experiencing racism? We wouldn't hear so many black people talking about slavery, white supremacy, supremacy if we got reparations if the crap stopped immediately if every white person stopped being obsessed with black people stop harassing them stop racially targeting them stop calling the police on them stop killing their children stop killing them you would not hear black people talk about racism and white supremacy but guess what Shekinah it's still going on which is why people still have to talk about it but again for every situation that an Aoki may experience there is a Shekinah that supports that situation because they don't want to acknowledge racism and white supremacy now here's the thing about Aoki 
Aoki's video that I must say that I didn't agree with and I think that she has been taught this way and hopefully she will understand how dangerous it is to go into that intersectionality thing. See when she was talking about being called those racial slurs by the white boy and hate and all those things she was right until she got into the whole gay thing. I wish some of us who are black or have black ancestry would stop trying to compare your experience to a gay person. I think we have been bullied into doing so. We as black people and people that have black ancestry feel like you can't say black without saying gay. You can't say black without saying black and brown or you can't say black without talking about feminism or some other struggle out there that pales in comparison to yours and I think that it is important to not try to conflate the two. A white gay person does not experience the same level of discrimination as a black gay person or a black straight person. They have more protection in this society being a white person and gay more than a black person does. So that alone should let you know that we need to stop feeling like we have to always speak for other people and it is okay for us to focus on our issues and it's okay for them to focus on their issues as well. In terms of black students and students of black ancestry that are experiencing racism, you cannot ignore it not one time. One thing that I noticed that she said was that, yeah, he said the N word, but we don't even get along. And my thing is, even if you get along, you still have to check that. I remember when I was in high school and there was this white girl and you could tell she was the white bust down that black guys like to get with because she was quote unquote thick. So the thick Becky Ella was in my class and I remember she was talking to a black person and she called him the N word. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what did you just say? And she's like, oh yeah, you know, I just say that. She's like basically saying it's a term of endearment. So I said, well, is cracker a term of endearment? And she looked so offended, was like, oh my God, no, that's racist. So why is it that you could use a racial slur and flip it into a term of endearment? Oh, cause you hear black people say it, but with cracker, oh my God, you committed a sin. So when you hear stuff like that, you have to give that right back to them. And you also need to make sure that you report that immediately. And if the school refuses to do anything about it, you need to get your parents involved and your parents have to be willing to take legal action. That is the problem with black people is that when these situations happen where we need to file lawsuits and we have the money to file lawsuits for discrimination and racism, our parents are just kind of lackluster and oh, it's okay, it don't matter. They just said it, yeah, have tough skin. No, them calling you that could result in you being poisoned. Look at what happened with the Brianna Bro shoe and Jazzy situation where this girl literally was doing these things to her, calling her Jamaican Barbie and spitting in her personal hygiene items, putting bloody tampons on her bag and coughing on her forks and stuff that she was eating off of. That was a result of her being in a predominantly white area and sometimes our parents don't fully equip us on what to expect and unfortunately that white woman pretty much got off in that case and you have to even take it further than that it's not even just about them trying to poison you they also can end up killing you it just always seems that when black people or people of black ancestry are surrounded by a lot of people that are non-black we always end up the first to go and it's always some mysterious death they don't know what happened to know that she has this amount of money she comes from a family with a high socioeconomic status but did she escape racism no and another thing that I think black people think is a form of emotional escapism from racism is them getting into interracial relationships. Some of us feel as though if we have mixed race children or biracial children, they're not going to experience any racism because in society, they'll be more lenient with them. Now, to be clear, sometimes they do get a certain level of privilege in this society. However, white people will still try to oppress them. But of course, with a darker skinned person, they will go even further than just name calling. I feel like the father should push for expulsion even though that's not going to change his racist beliefs. But I also feel like Aoki should expose his identity. Don't try to protect him. We need to know who he is. And if they do not expel him, I really think that they should try to go ahead and sue the school. Understand we are in a system of white supremacy and not every single time do we win our lawsuits because sometimes they go against us when it comes to these cases of discrimination. But at least you made an honest effort in trying to eradicate the problem because sitting back and going along with your life as if it's not going to affect you and it, it goes on to affect the next black person and the next black person and the next black person. So I'm glad that Aoki did speak about this situation and I hope that her dad and her mother will also intervene. I'm actually glad that this happened because she needs to get her early wake up call. Some people get it and they ignore it, but you know, we have to make sure that some of our kids understand what time it is. And if you notice with black people, this is why a lot of black people are walking around here with undiagnosed mental illness because to be racially abused and taunted for so many years can literally drive you into insanity because you feel like you're in this realm where there is no escape. There's no respite for you. There's no one there to protect you from it. And when they do try to protect you from it, you have to be careful of that person that tried to do it. So this is why channels like mine exist because I call this bull crap out. I'm not going to tell you to go and date outside your race and escape these racial injustices that you're going to face. I'm not going to tell you to go out here and join team white supremacy when they're going to hang you anyways. I try to tell you guys the real on what goes on in this world. Being a black person, the first step in solving this is knowing what predicament that you're in as a 
black person and figuring out how to codify and unify with other black people so that they could help you to survive in this wicked system that we live in. Anyways, guys, please let me know what you feel about her video. Also, Shekinah's video. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!